What's up guys, today I want to talk about Zenless Zone Zero. I have to ask myself, and I've been asking myself, why is no one talking about this game's animations? I'm not even talking about the game. Game is awesome, but the game animations in this game are, they are literally the chef's kiss. I'm not even talking about the cutscenes. The cutscenes and how they do it are absolutely spectacular. I don't know if you haven't, you know, can tell. I've been playing this game for a minute. Okay, I stopped playing it ever since Marvel Rivals came out, and we got to get into that. But this game, and also the fact that I wanted to get the, you know, the police officer character, but then I come to find out that I have to spend actual money in order to get this character, or in order to gamble, and somehow maybe get the character, maybe not get the character. But that's besides the point. I did spend, you know, $15 to get one box. <laughs> Shame, shameful, I know, I did, I didn't get her. Nevertheless, the point of this video are the animations, right? This is the animation channel, and the animations in this game are absolutely spectacular. This is a master class in game animation, okay? First and foremost, just looking at the character's idle stances. Like, if you are trying to create an idle pose for your character, Look at this game, look at their characters, and go from there. Because one of the characters, I forgot his name, I think it's Jen, I could be wrong, or it's like Bucky, Zacky, I don't know, I'm making up names. But, <laughs> but the dude with the Super Saiyan hair, I forgot, I'm blanking on his name, I can't remember, but he's my main, like I've, I've made him, I've leveled him up, I love his animations. Like his pose of like, a, you know, just a really cool guy and everything, um, the, the, the officer chick, just the, the, the pose where it's seductive, but it's like, no, no, you know, I'm not playing around, no, no games playing. Uh, Soldier 11, a lot of these characters, just idle poses are really great. Another thing, they're, they're, they're run to stop animations. Um, I'm in the middle of creating a whole bunch of traversal animations for spider combat, placeholder title, but it's gotten me to look at how other games have done it. And in this game, they're all really well done. And they're all different, right? Soldier 11 doesn't stop the same way that, you know, the, the gun guy stops. Gun guy doesn't stop how, you know, the, the, the officer stops. The officer stops and doesn't stop the same way that the big bear stops. And it's just really well animated. It's really well animated with this style, stylized, you know, texture to it. And one of the characters I want to highlight for this video in particular is Soldier 11. I couldn't believe it when I was playing it because all the animations are beautifully done. Beautifully done. And one of the things that make it beautifully done are the poses. The poses of these characters are spectacular. They are dynamic, okay? They look good from all angles. They are what you want in your poses. All right, they are specifically what you want in your poses. Clarity, you see what's going on, you see where they came from, you see where they're going. Everything is really well done. But one added detail that I saw in, in, in Soldier 11 that I, I haven't looked in other characters, but it just stuck out in Soldier 11, is that in an attack, right? She has, I believe all the characters have four hit attacks. And in the four hit attack, they have a different return to idle for every single attack. And it's just, it adds so much character that it's, it's, it's just oozing with character. It's almost unbearable how much character that they've added to these characters. I, I, don't, I, I was just caught off guard because like even with the, the, the shooting guy, how he, his stop to run, right? Or his run to stop animation, like he stops and then, you know, gets into the pose. He like slides and then gets into the pose. And it's so much character in that you know, uh, you know, as opposed to other characters. But as I was saying, Soldier 11, like the first attack, she'll, uh, I believe she'll, she'll just simply put it back, but it's two hits, right? It's bam, bam. The second attack, she'll kick it. She'll kick her blade and then go bam. The third attack, I believe she just goes bam, right? So in the first attack, it was bam, bam, right? Third attack, it's more of a forceful bam. And then the fourth attack, I believe she grabs it from the bottom, she grabs it from the bottom, spins it, and then puts it back. And I'm just like, they didn't have to do that, okay? I've, I've been playing a, a bunch of games, a bunch of games. I have not seen that level of detail in, in a lot of games, okay? Even in the, like, let's say Spider-Man. You punch, he'll do one, you know, you punch twice, he'll do another one, but it's not to that point where it adds that amount of character. There's, there's so much character and like the little things that they have going on. And like I said, I don't think most people would even 
are even gonna recognize that. Me as an animator, I'm gonna see, cause I wanna say, okay, what are they doing with Return to Idol? How are they doing from run to stop? How are they doing from stop to run? How are they going, you know, uh, you know, their dodge? How many frames is that? How many frames does it really take for their attacks and stuff like that? And it, it's really, really well done. The whole game is really, really nicely polished. Really nicely polished. So just take some time to look at this game, analyze it. If you wanna go a step further, I would say try to re re recreate some of their animations just to get a, a sense of, of not only timing and spacing, but also posing. Because all of their posings, as I said before, is dynamic and that's what makes a lot of these animations. And I'm gonna have to do another video on that uh, when it comes to posing because that is really we know when the you have the officer chick when she's firing like the poses she hits even soldier 11 the poses that she hits are all dynamic they're all beautifully handcrafted and just seeing them go from one pose to another pose to the anticipation that's built into some of the attacks it's um it's it's really a dessert for any animator it's really really great stuff so i really wanted to bring attention to the animation in zenless zone zero and this is this level of animation this level of quality is found throughout all of the characters bruh throughout all of the characters this top-notch level of animation is is present so it's it's really something to just look at their moveset just to just to admire uh, some of the animation in it and some of the some of the technical animation at that and some of the work that they did of, of, of how they get out of their runs, how they come to their stops, how they go about their attacks. You know, why are they going from this swing to this swing or some of just the dynamic, uh, you know, steps that they're taking in achieving, uh, you know, the attack or achieving the dodge and achieving, you know, whether the, the character comes in and how they, they frame uh, the camera and stuff like that. There's a lot to learn um, from this game, a lot to learn. I'm, I'm still learning uh, whenever I get a chance to play it, because as I said, I've been playing Marvel's Rivals. We're gonna do a video on that, game's addictive. Uh, but yeah, that, that's gonna be the video. I think I, I just wanted to give you know credit where credit's due to this game, because I didn't see a lot of people talking about really the style and the animation in this game. Really, really a work of art. Um, let me know what you guys think about the game. If you're playing it, have you bought any characters? Have you, you know, maybe hustled your way to get any characters? Um, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, keep animating.